folks like finding cash. Other folks like finding the mysteries of the universe. I'm your master? That's right! He can be taught! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie treasures. For this list, we're taking a look at those super impressive stashes that would be fairly elusive to the common Joe, if not for some pretty dedicated treasure hunters. I'm listening. There is a cave, boy. A cave of wonders, filled with treasures beyond your wildest dreams. These movie treasures don't just sparkle and shine. Some of them could actually kill you on the hunt to find them. Put the goods in the bag. Number 10, the El Corazon Emerald, Romancing the Stone. Alto! If you're gonna be shot at in the jungles of Colombia, it might as well be for a massive emerald. Jesus Christ, we're in a lot of trouble. Sure, there's murder and a missing woman involved and whatnot, but there's also an emerald large enough to buy political favors and a whole new life. It sort of makes bird smuggling and writing romance novels seem like child's play. No wonder so many bad guys are after it. But he who has the biggest teeth always wins the fight for the treasure. Thank you. Number nine, One-Eyed Willie's Fortune, The Goonies. Chester Copperpot, missing while in pursuit of local legend. Reclusive scavenger claims I have the key to One-Eyed Willie. Having your childhood home go into foreclosure can be traumatic. Having your entire neighborhood go into foreclosure can be catastrophic. You guys, just what if this map could lead to One-Eyed Willie's rich stuff? Maybe. Then we wouldn't have to leave the Goondocks. But when your neighborhood is sitting on an immense pirate treasure, it's safe to say your quaint little quarter might make it out OK. What are you staring at? Let's go load up. Anything you can put in your pocket. Mikey, something like that. Why? That's Willie's. You gotta wonder how no one managed to find what's undoubtedly millions of dollars worth of gold and jewels stashed so easily a bunch of kids could locate it. But they were probably foiled by the booby traps. Man, I beat you. I got here in one piece. Number eight, the Pink Panther diamond, the Pink Panther. If you look deep into the stone, you will perceive the tiniest discoloration. It resembles an animal. An animal? A leaping panther. Yes, a pink panther. Why settle for some average blood diamonds when there are incredibly rare and wildly more expensive pink diamonds? When the value of the pink diamond is substantial enough to buy a small country, regular jewels can look like measly kernels of rice. And how can I possibly top this? And when people keep trying to steal this incredibly expensive, ridiculously rare and remarkably huge diamond, it's usually best to put a bumbling yet surprisingly competent French detective on the case. You see... <gasps> it's not the child! He must be the phantom! <laughs> Number seven, Cursed Aztec Gold, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Here it is. The cursed treasure of Cortez himself. Gold coins will make people do strange things. Whoa! but cursed gold coins will probably have them doing strange things for eternity. Treasure hunting and mutiny have never backfired in a more vicious way than it did for Barbosa and his men. You're not dead. No. <laughs> he shot me. The cursed crew of the Black Pearl is tasked with finding not only the last gold coin, but also one of their crew's descendants in order to release them from their hellacious existence. Talk about karma. <laughs> Number six, Captain Flint's treasure, Treasure Island. What happened to Flint's gold, says you? Thin Guns Cave, says I. 
When you're part of a crew that's on the hunt for buried pirate treasure, any old sum just isn't going to do it. Seven hundred thousand pounds. When you factor in the number of crew members, plus the cost of the voyage, that's a lot of pieces of the pie. Map or no map, we ain't giving up no hostage till we lays hands on the treasure itself. But 700,000 pounds sterling back in 1750 was enough pie to feed an army. But not when them that finds as he did, says I. <laughs> With villainous pirates, exotic locales, and maps marked with an X, this is one treasure that's worth the adventure. Well, shiver my timbers. Number five, the dwarvish treasure hoard, the Hobbit franchise. In precious gems hewn from rock, and in great seams of gold, running like rivers through stone. On Lonely Mountain, times were good, and the living was easy. That is, until Smaug came along. Smaug. Before they were upended by the mean old dragon, the dwarves living in Erebor were stacking some serious coin. The kind a wizard, a hobbit, and a group of dwarves would travel across Middle Earth for. But aside from the massive reserves of gold and jewels, perhaps the most impressive piece in this hoard was the Arkenstone. The heart of the mountain. A legendary gem of indescribable beauty. This treasure is hoarding done right. Number four, the magic lamp, Aladdin. Do not be fooled by his commonplace appearance. Like so many things, it is not what is outside, but what is inside that counts. While the stinkingly rich Scrooge McDuck might have been on the hunt for the treasure of Kali Baba and the lamp that went along with it. They've got a still to eat, otherwise we'd get along. <laughs> Poor Aladdin was just a street rat trying to make a few bucks by entering the Cave of Wonders to find his magic lamp. Would you look at that? <laughs> Just a handful of this stuff would make me richer than the Sultan. Lamp shopping shouldn't be an extreme sport. You will never again see the light of day! But when that lamp contains a genie with phenomenal cosmic powers, anything is fair game. All of the abandoned corpses in the Cave of Wonders should have sent up some red flags. Master, I don't think you quite realize what you got here. So why don't you just ruminate whilst I illuminate the possibilities? Number three, El Dorado, Aguirre, the Wrath of God. Erinnert ihr euch an Hernando Cortez? Auf dem Weg nach Mexiko bekam er den Befehl umzukehren. Aber er. Why go on a hunt for a little old chest of gold coins or some disappointing stack of gold bullion when you can find an entire city made from gold? Frag ihn, wo er das hier hat. Frag ihn, wo El Dorado ist. Woher kommt dieses Gold? Clearly, a city of gold wouldn't necessarily be habitable, but the trade-in value would be astounding. Of course, it'd also make for one tough trek to find, if you even survive. Ja, so muss er sich entlang geschleppt haben. Das ist keine Pfeilwunde. It's enough to drive you insane, floating down a raft with your daughter's corpse. Or to turn into a snappy DreamWorks animated feature. El Dorado. Someone else is after the treasure. Of course someone else is after the treasure. It's the axiom of treasure hunting. Number two. The Templar treasure, national treasure. Nobody's gonna die. There's another way out. Where? Through the treasure room. So many secret societies, so little time. One thing they don't tell you about secret societies, other than the fact that they don't exist, is that they're so darn lucrative. This room is real, Ben. And that means the treasure is real. They were stockpiling millions, if not billions, of dollars worth of treasure all over the place. From jewels to art and more. I'm guessing that's significant. 
according to the sequel, secrets are an equally valuable treasure. Where's the president's book kept? Only the current president knows. The book is passed from president to president, and each one chooses his own hiding place. And the founding fathers had tons of them stashed away in a book of secrets, complete with even more mysterious brotherhoods and insane ciphers. Area 51, there. Before we unearth our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. No, don't. The diamonds belong to the mountain. Number one, the Holy Grail, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Who are you? The last of three brothers who swore an oath to find the grail. When you're an archeologist like Indiana Jones with a taste for adventure, finding gold might be cool, but the real thrill lies with an elusive treasure like the Holy Grail. You choose wisely, for as the true grail will bring you life, the false grail will take it from you. It's that ultimate prize that treasure hunters, both real and fictional, pursue for their entire careers. He chose poorly. And, much like the Ark of the Covenant, it's a treasure sought after by archaeologists and Nazis alike. Germany has declared war on the Jones boys. Of course, since the Grail is a priceless relic with magical healing powers, you can be sure there will be many obstacles that stand between it and you. Helmet, another volunteer. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite movie treasure? For more entertaining top tens, published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What are you waiting for? Go on!